Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel and a new video. In this video I'm showing you 4 quick and easy head wrap head scarf styles. Let's jump straight into it. As you can see, I'm doing these styles on my goddess braids. So I currently have my hair in these goddess braids which I am loving so much. I'm soon going to take them out though. But I'm first going to go ahead and spray my edges with some rose water just to make sure that my hair is a bit moisturized and I can move it around a bit and get those baby hairs to be laid. And I'm also using this edge booster. Oh, it smells so good, this one. It's so amazingly fresh. But I'm using that all on the edges of my hair. As you can see me here doing, I'm just going to do that to make sure that they're all laid, to make sure as well that when, you know, if the scarf moves a bit, that you can just see some nice, smooth, beautiful baby hair. Yeah, we're working with what we have, and this is an old toothbrush, or I think a new old toothbrush that I'm using. <laughs> At this point, I don't remember if I actually used it. I don't think I used it. No, I wouldn't have used the toothbrush and I used it on my hair. Anyway, that's besides the point. But I did see that they actually do have some like brushes that you can use that are actually made for baby hair. So I'm going to get that because, yeah that will level up this game as well because I saw it has like a really nice edge that you can use to like really get those hairs to move but anyway I'm just sticking and using with what I have and I'm using my Colgate toothbrush that's not sponsored however if Colgate wants to sponsor I'm open to that <laughs> So now that my base is all done with the baby hairs, I'm just going to go in and retwist some of those braids because I've had them in at this point, I believe, for a little over a month. So I'm just refreshing them a bit, the ones that are in front, to make sure that if they do peek through the headscarf, that they just also look again nice and smooth. And here's how they look in the ending after I've did the baby hairs and also smoothen some of those twists that we're getting out. Here I'm just going to go ahead and put my hair up in a bun, a messy bun for the first look. And I'm using just one scrunchie and taking out two parts of the hair that has the curls at the end so I can play around with that and have those just uh, coming out of my headscarf. What I like to do as well is just to play around and move them around a bit to make sure that they're at the right length that I would like to have them at. And first scarf is this one I'm using from Chapel and Defu. I believe I'm saying it correct. If not, again, all the information for the things I use will be in the description box down below. I'm just making this into a triangle because this scarf is quite big. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and use the brown lady. I want her to be out and if you're able to see that. And I just tied this in a triangle that was equal and tied a knot in the front and twirl the ends around that was hanging just to make sure that it has that kind of like, uh, I don't know what you would call that actually, like this, I don't know, maybe ribbed effect. That's really nice. If you want, you could also leave it uh, without having those done, but I like it this way. It's a bit more nice, I feel and tucking those edges away and here we have it the final look for the first head scarf now into the second styling showing you how i'm going to be styling this one from kokolishi i totally absolutely love it it's very colorful and beautiful this one i'm not going to carry all the way up but i'm leaving a bit of space so you can see how I did that in the beginning and just making sure that I have some extra so that I can tuck that under and it comes in the front and again I'm using that same twirl method to make sure that those edges uh, for the parts that are left out are nice and smooth and sometimes they get loose when you're trying to do it but but this time it went well and I'm just tying that in the back and tucking again any excess out of the way and rolling that part either under or over the parts that I rolled back if that makes any sense to you but again you can see what I'm doing and uh, that should be a bit of explanation for you 
visually. <laughs> and again, playing around with those baby hairs, making sure that they sit well. It's really one of my favorite looks. It's so beautiful, so nice, and perfect for if you're having really old braids. All of these are amazing for. For the next two styles, I'm going to be using my hair out. <laughs> And when after you take your braids out, it could just be a bit of a relief. So I was just like, oh, that feels so good. And here I'm using this scarf that I got at a fabric store in Curacao, I believe. When I, yeah, I got it in Curacao, definitely. It's a beautiful color. Um, it reminds me of the things that they wear actually in St. Martin for like the traditional wear. But for this style, I had to go ahead and take up my earrings because they were just getting in the way. But I'm taking this scarf and putting it in the middle and then just making sure that I gather all the access and tying that behind. So instead of tying the front part, uh, like what I did earlier with tying it in the front, I'm tying this one now behind. So a bit different. And then tucking those edges just away to make sure that they're not in the way or not around uh, peeping out. And I like this one because it kind of puts the hair up and gives you a bit of relief. It's such a different look and perfect, I feel, for like a festival or if you're going to a cultural day. It just gives you a bit of difference. And the combination with this pink and yellow, I just love it. It's so amazing. All these colors are amazing anyway. You know that I'm a very vibrant spirit, so I'm attracted to color anywhere that I go. It just makes my heart and my soul feel very, very happy. So here I'm using this final scarf. I also got this, I think in Holland, uh, at a natural hair event once, really long ago. And I'm tying it now this time in the back. Um, well, not tying it, I'm wrapping it to the back and then tying it in the front and then pulling that to the back again, if that makes sense. So you saw me do that, kind of self-explanatory. And that is the final look for quick and easy head wrap head scarf tutorial that I think would be perfect to rock any time of the year because they're beautiful, effortless, versatile, and you can make them very authentic. Let me know which one was your favorite and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next one, bye!